Hi friends, this is Pastor Kathy. So, what about us? What do we do with grace in community? So we've talked about God's grace and three specific aspects of God's grace. The three main Wesleyan understandings of God's grace are provenient grace, grace that goes before us, the invitation, justifying grace, the grace of return, and sanctifying grace, all of the practice. So this practice of God's grace then, as we receive the grace that God has for us, what do we do with it? Well, we practice it. And we can practice it all the time with everyone, including ourselves. Because I don't know about you, but sometimes I need grace for myself in order to provide and share grace with those around me. Now, when I do something wrong, I need to address it. When I hurt someone's feelings, I need to apologize. When I break something, I need to help fix it. And when I make a mistake, I learn from it and I learn to do better. But if I caught, get caught up in only ever thinking of how I always make mistakes and start telling myself that making mistakes is the only thing I can do, well, that's not grace. It's not good. And it's not what God wants for me or for you. When we learn that we have made a mistake, when we learn that we have sinned in churchy language, we confess that we sinned. We say what we did wrong and we apologize to the folks that we harm and to God. In the church, this is called confession. And even though we don't have a formal process of confession like in the Catholic Church, we do have space for confession in worship, the way that we do when we celebrate communion, the Lord's Supper. And then, after we've confessed with God and with our friends or family or neighbors or classmates, then we hold grace. We aren't bad people when we do wrong things. Sometimes we make mistakes, and God loves us. And God calls us to love, grace, and forgiveness. We learn it with ourselves, and as we practice that, we also work to forgive our friends, our neighbors, our classmates, and our family. We share grace with them. And here's the coolest thing. This grace isn't from us. We don't have to create it from within ourselves. If grace is sunlight, God is the sun, and we're like the moon, the ones reflecting God's grace to those around us, to our friends who make mistakes, to our family and our neighbors, and even the strangers we don't know yet. And God's grace and love expand every time we share it especially as we keep learning. Where do you need to share or receive grace today? Peace be with y'all. Goodbye.